Hey guys, in today's video, let's learn how to make this fun little animation using PowerPoint Zoom feature. So in order to create this animation, we'll start in a file where I've already added the assets that we'll be using. The first asset we'll be using is this abstract circular shape. And on the second slide, we'll have a landscape that's been converted from an SVG into shapes. So as you can see, they're all separate shapes. Let's get started with the actual design. Let's go over to a new slide. Let's bring over the circular shape and let's ensure it's in the center of the slide. So we'll be creating a mask using this shape. And in order to do that, let's draw a rectangle and remove its outline and send it to back. Then select the rectangle and the shape, go to Merge Shapes and click on Subtract. So there we have it. And I'll just change the background to a light blue and our shape color, basically the mask color, to the screen. Now let's create another slide. And let's copy the entirety of this landscape onto the new slide. Let's format the background to blue and just make sure it's applied to all. Then let's go over to the mask that we created and paste it over this landscape. Now, as you can see, most of the landscape is hidden by this mask. So what we're going to do is press Ctrl and Shift and then increase the size of our mask until a lot of the landscape is revealed. And that's where the guides are necessary so you know exactly what the dimensions of your slide are with the rectangle going out of it. So that size should work. And now that we have our assets laid out in the way we want, it's time to start animating. So first we'll animate this mask. Let's select it, go over to animations. Let's add animation, more entrance effects, and let's select basic zoom. And I'll open up the animation pane. So it should look like this. Let's increase its duration to 150. And under effect options, let's go in slightly. So it should look something like this, as if the landscape is being revealed slowly. And let's set it to start with previous. Then let's go over to our selection pane and let's hide this for now. Next, we'll animate all these individual shapes. So let's go back to animations. Let's select any shape that we want. Give it a fly in. Let's go over to effect options. And let's increase the bounce end. And we'll also increase the duration to about 150. So something like that. We can change the bounce end. I think 130 should be enough. So it looks something like that. Then let's go over to Animation Painter, double click it, and let's apply the same animation to all the shapes. And I think we've got all of them. Let's just check. That's correct. Let's select all. Start with previous. And let's randomize the animation a little bit. So first we'll change the direction randomly. Instead of up, we can bring some from top. So for example, this mountain can come from top. This cloud can come from left, uh, sorry, from right, and so on and so forth. So I'll quickly randomize all these animations. And that's what it'll look like.
we'll also randomize the duration a little bit so that different elements appear at slightly different times. Let's check it out. And that looks pretty decent. Let's go back to our selection pane and let's bring back the mask we had. Let's make our slide smaller. And that's basically what it looks like. Let's check it out in full screen once. All right, now that we've animated this slide, it's time to add the zoom feature. So first, I'll add a number to this slide just so we know what slide we're on. I'll call it one. Bring it in. Let's duplicate this slide three times. So in all we have four versions. And just to follow along, we'll number the slides. All right, so let's go to the first one and let's go over to insert, zoom, slide zoom, and let's select slide number five. Let's insert it. Let's make it really small and place it on the wall of this house. Then let's go over to the next slide and repeat the process. Insert slide zoom, this time insert slide 6. Add to the wall. Go over to the next slide. Insert again. And so on. And on the final slide, we can insert the slide zoom to the first one. Now let's look at our first slide. As you notice, the zoom slide is already there. So we need to add a little bit of an animation to that as well. So it moves with the landscape. So for that, all we need to do is go over to animations, make sure our house is selected, go to animation painter and apply the same to the zoom. Let's do that to all the slides. And this way, with every animation, the zoom will come in as well. Let's take a look. And there you go. You have your infinite loop ready using zoom. On your last slide, when you click back to the first slide, the animation will not happen. So if you want the animation to happen continuously, you'll have to keep duplicating the number of slides you've made. And that's it folks, that was a quick and fun little animation technique. And if you'd like to download these slides, they're available to download for free in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.